You said you had respect for me due to what you heard in the streets. But it sounded like a contradiction to me with you because you would say on one hand, you had respect for me with all the stories you heard in the streets. That's why you had the respect for me. But however, you lost respect for me because of the rumors of what you're hearing now. You say to take the name gangsta off, like I take the gangsta off. Who are you to tell me what I can do? Bro, you from Baton Rouge, you're out from me. You know you must qualify to speak on me, man. Stay in your lane. The love, stay in the rap lane, matter of fact. You ain't much, you know you much a street dude. The same homies you speaking on Angola that you say stand on, on my name and respect me, that's the same homies when you went to Angola, behind Katrina, behind a storm, because they send y'all out of the county jail. When you went there, those are the same homies that I reached out to to make sure you was okay. And you know what they came back and say? Oh, he good, he ain't protected custody. So when you get on Vlad, and you be telling all these old wild, goofy stories about you was in Angola. Man, you was in protected custody, man. You only made to Angola because of the storm. Hey, bro, like, you know, you was labeled as a real gangster, bro, but it ain't no coming back from that, bro. You made that decision, bro. It's choices you got to make in life, and you made that decision. <laughs> And that's all I'm going to say about that, you know? Yeah, we ain't talking about no rash, man. Fuck no, I wouldn't know no PC, man. Nigga lied on me, man. Man, look where Vlad done started, man. So, a couple months ago, Birdman's half-brother turns against Williams. He was on a Vlad TV interview, and one of the questions Vlad asked him was, like, how did he get his sentence reduced to 27 years? And he said, because he testified of some dead people. And of course, Vlad had to ask Boosie what he thought about it in his Vlad TV interview. And Boosie gonna always keep it real. He gonna speak his mind. He's not gonna back down. And he kept it 1,000. He said, he not no gangster. He is not no gangster. He gotta take that gangster from his name. He's a rat. He read it. It don't matter if it's some people that no longer here. He still read it. A rat gonna always be a rat. And then that's when Terrence made that clip talking about, you cannot speak on me. We is an hour away from each other. Baton Rouge is an hour away from me. You can't tell me what they drop from my name. I'm a gangster. I put in the work, whatever, whatever. And Boosie was like, because Terrence claimed that when Boosie was in prison, he was in PC, protective custody. And Boosie said, how the hell I was in protective custody? There ain't no way I was in PC. Because that's like... Another way of calling somebody soft. Like, man, you was in PC, man. You was in jail. You was being protected. And Boosie like, hell no. Nah. How the hell I was in PC? But the root of this is, this this would have never been a conversation. If Vlad ain't never interviewed these black brothers trying to get them to go at each other. Because Vlad don't make nobody talk. But the way he asks his questions, it's like, it's kind of like he trying to set somebody up. And... Him and Boosie do interviews like every other month because they got a deal where they get paid and Boosie not going to back down from no question, bro. But don't create no beef between our black brothers just with some views. It's already too many sense and stuff going on in this world. I mean, what y'all think about this is boy B? I'm out.